and welcome to another editorial video. This month we're discussing real-time data and its use in the hospitality industry today. Our very own David Turnbull has written this month's article and in it he's referenced Disney who are maximizing the use of real-time data with their visitors and guests and doing so in such a way that the guest almost has no problem having Disney capture so much personal data about them, probably because the value for them outweighs the privacy concerned that they may have had. So there are a huge number of opportunities for hotels to embrace the principles of real-time data collection to improve customer experience. And some of these are whether it's rooms or stock, there is so much interchangeable inventory in hospitality organizations that we either have too much or too little. Having access to real-time analytics regarding this inventory allows better insights into areas such as supply and usage trends, triggering real-time purchasing inventory management procedures that can significantly reduce costs and or increase profit. Especially for larger hotel operations, being able in real time to predict and deploy surges in demand for specific services or departments would enable hotels to transform their HR and recruitment policies and hire more all-round staff who interchange roles depending on time of day rather than siloed per department. Predicting problems before they occur is a great mantra for any service operation. Real-time data collected by in-house sensors can ensure service staff are notified whenever there is a potential service issue about to occur. Public restrooms need cleaning, breakfast buffet needs refilling, or the guest has left the room. Is your restaurant below capacity tonight? Do you want to drive a younger customer segment into the bar? Using the historical data regarding behavior and buying practice, specific customers can be targeted via a guest or messaging app with real-time personalized offers during the stay. Real-time data can also benefit other processes as well, such as maintenance. By knowing exactly how much a hotel's facilities are being used and the ways they're being used, hotels can better understand their maintenance needs and optimize their physical management and maintenance dollar spend. Disney was referenced in David's article because they're a good example of real-time data being used operationally on various levels for some time. As a large player in the hospitality industry, Disney's been using real-time data as an example really for other companies to look to. Since 2013, they have been using what they call magic bands. These wristbands perform a range of functions including ticketing, room key access, fast passes, meal reservations and GPS tracking. These are all areas that provide Disney with crucial data in real time, allowing them to maximize their output to customers. Investing in real-time data analytics doesn't guarantee hoteliers will outperform their competitors. There needs to be a solid understanding of big data. It's about being data-driven, not about collecting huge chunks of data that increase complexity, ending up with no one really knowing what to do with it. There are always some obstacles when embracing real-time and big data analytics, even for those who understand it. The integration of Marriott and Starwood's loyalty programs produced some very difficult technical issues which frustrated their customers and Marriott for quite some time. Of course, they also suffered that hacking attack which involved data from up to 500 million guests. Both those issues have been dealt with, but they did contribute to a drop in revenues for the company when they happened. So really the link between data and revenue is supremely important. By being data-driven, hotels are affording themselves the opportunity to increase efficiency and sharpen strategies based on real-time, accurate information. The key to get and sustain competitive advantages is with real-time and big data analytics. It can't be denied that real-time data is pivotal to a hotel's success in today's climate. Indeed, travel and hospitality companies have access to a huge amount of data that if analysed properly can provide meaningful and actionable insights which can radically move the needle for their business. More and more hoteliers are now starting to look to real-time data to help them better operate their businesses and of course maximise profits. Whilst not completely discarding it, hotels are relying less on data associated to the past. 
In 2020, you are probably years away from embarking upon the implementation of a digital customer experience platform that has mapped out and optimized the entire physical and digital customer journey. However, what we know today as the PMS will soon evolve to manage the wider space we operate within and become much more focused on collecting the perishable and highly valuable data that is created within that space. This is perhaps the starting point in this high-tech, high-touch evolution for our industry. And I'd recommend any hotelier interested in this to undertake the following steps. Review your tech stack's ability to capture real-time data. Map out how you currently collect and store inventory, staffing, and marketing data. Assess where the opportunities lie to automate the process of data collection and determine where this real-time data can be stored. This new horizon of using real-time data to improve guest experience is clearly a marathon. It's not a sprint. The surprise in a few years will be to discover which brands and hotels have already invested in this type of approach. My question to you is will you be one of them? Thanks for watching and for subscribing. Don't forget to download our app which is available on iOS and Android. And until next time, it's bye for now.